and welcome back to another episode of Cleanworks Auto Detailing. My name is Mac. Today we're going to be working on these two seats and they need a lot of work. I'm going to pull the camera in closer so you guys can take a look at them because believe me, as you can probably see behind me, they're kind of ridiculous and kind of special. All right, so if you're familiar with designer brands, I don't have to tell you why these are ridiculous. However, if you don't know, these are actually Gucci seats. Obviously, they're not real Gucci seats. They didn't ever put custom-made seats, especially in a 350Z, maybe in like the Gucci edition supercars. However, the print on these is actually pretty good. I looked up you know, authentic versus fake Gucci print. And this is pretty much dang near close to the real thing. I originally thought this Gucci print part was actually fabric because I've seen on online, you can actually buy the Gucci print fabric, you know, to do headliners or, you know, seats, for example. But this is actually leather. Uh, it's got some Alcantara going down all the way on the side right there you can you guys can see that it's pretty beat up and pretty faded and you know got a little head stain right there greasy head but all in all each seat is roughly eight out of ten this is the passenger side i believe um this one is the worst when it comes to filth it's got a heavy stain right there and you know it's got a lot of dust there uh, another heavy stain right there but there's no rips no tears at least on this seat uh, on this one which is the driver's seat it is splitting a little right there i actually did a little test spot this isn't clean this is pretty much clean but this is basically just uh, with a leather brush and some leather cleaner but i'm actually going to be using steam and various other tools and techniques just to get these as nice and clean as I can. So for reference, these aren't any client seats. These are my seats. I purchased them. Uh, we were at a junkyard with my brother and my cousin. We were looking at some parts for my cousin's car. Uh, we didn't really find anything, but besides the point, I stumbled across like, uh, like an 05, 06, Nissan 350Z convertible, and you guys should have seen this thing. I mean, it was painted, but it was painted well. It had this like gold flake, uh, yellow paint job on it, and it had these seats in it. Uh, it had like a custom sub box in the back, and you know, it was a nice sunny day. So going through the rows of all like the clapped out cars, uh, this particular car caught my eye and I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, being the detailer that I am, I like looking at paint. I like looking at different colors of paint, especially, you know, metal flake or pearl or things like that. So it caught my eye. I went up to it, took a look at it. Okay, it looks good. You know, it's beat up, it's taken apart. And then I looked inside and I saw these seats and I'm like, I gotta have these. So I pulled them out. I'm gonna clean them up. I'm gonna see how they look. And then honestly, I might make something out of them. I might sell them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but how often do you come across Gucci seats for a Nissan 350Z? Uh, without any further ado, guys, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod. I am going to move these seats outside. I'm gonna blow them out first because there is a lot of loose dirt and debris on these seats. So I'm gonna blow them up out outside. Uh, I'm gonna put them up on the bench and then we'll get to cleaning. I'll do a time lapse and I'll stop here and there uh, just to explain the process and why I'm doing it and how it's going to be helpful. first is we're going to spray both of these seats down with APC just to get rid of any of the loose crud that's on top. Uh, it's going to make our life a whole lot easier when we actually go and scrub these. So let's go ahead and do that. step 
step, which is removing any bulk, dirt, and debris that might be on the surface. And the reason why we do this is because of this. This is just with a simple wipe down. If we just went ahead and just started scrubbing it, we would have to work through all of this grime. And then we would just create more work for ourselves. Uh, we would have to do more steps on cleaning it. So the thing about detailing that you have to remember is that everything's a process. The less you have something to work with, the better. For example, if you're doing paint correction, you can't just wash the car and go ahead and start polishing it. You have to clay bar it to remove any contaminants. You have to uh, put iron remover on top of it to dissolve any of the iron deposits on it. Because if you're just gonna wash it, take a polishing pad to it, all you would do is pick up all the contaminants that are on the surface and just be scratching it into the paint. So the less you have on the surface, the better. It makes your life a whole lot easier. Just for the record guys, one th quick thing that I do wanna mention is that these seats are electric. Obviously, I don't have a battery here or anything I could hook them up to so I can move them around. So it is what it is. I'm just gonna have to stick my hand in all the cracks and crevices uh, to get them nice and clean. So just remember that. All right, so we wiped the seats down. I went ahead and took off the headrest just so it's easier to work on the seats. And the next step is applying heat. Now I'm gonna be using a steamer for this application. And just as a disclaimer, you're not really supposed to use steam on leather um, just because, you know, leather is skin. So imagine taking a steamer to your skin. It doesn't feel well. It'll leave burns. Uh, it'll cause marks and things like that. So what we're going to do is this steamer is adjustable pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this head of the steamer in a towel and I'm gonna quickly go over it. And the reason for that is, is that when you're taking off wrap, when you're taking off PPF, when you're taking off adhesive, heat is key. Heat releases any adhesives, or in this case, any dirt and grime from the surface. So this is an extra step. You can think of it as a wipe down, but this time we're using steam. So it is going to heat up the leather. It's gonna heat up this fabric material here. It's gonna lift the dirt off the surface as well as it's going to open up the pores of the leather, making it extremely easier to clean. From there, we'll go ahead with our leather cleaner and our leather scrub brush, and we'll go ahead and scrub all these seats. After that, we'll actually go ahead and take care of all the plastics and the rails and things like that. So without any further ado, let's get started. As you guys can see, the steamer did a lot of work. This stripe looks a whole lot better. It's got some more stains. Uh, we'll take care of this fabric stripe going up along here separately. Uh, I just wanna get a bulk of the stuff off. This is the not steamed seat. And We've already made a pretty drastic improvement, especially on the fabric portions. And I just wanna show you guys, this is what came out of this one seat, just by using the steamer. All that was in this stripe right here. So let's just move on to the second seat. Okay, so now that the seats have the majority of dirt and grime removed, we can actually take a closer look at them and see what areas we need to address. So as you guys can see, you probably saw it in the before shots earlier in the video. Uh, I don't know if it's the dye in the fabric or maybe this actually wasn't red at some point and someone painted it, but the dye seemed to leak into the leather 
on this seat it's actually like the worst one you guys can see right there as well as on this one this one's not too bad but you can see a little bleeding right there and right there and there's really nothing i can do about that so we're, we're just gonna go ahead and ignore it on this seat i believe or is it this one it's this one uh there seems to be some kind of like paint overspray um i don't really know what it is uh but yeah you guys can see that maybe that'll come off with the leather cleaner we'll see uh there's some more on this one and you know i actually have a plan to if i can't clean these fabric stripes well enough uh i'm pretty sure that's in there forever and you know as you can see this is two different colors so this is sun faded so i actually bought some duplicolor fabric spray paint and i'm actually once i'm done cleaning these i'm actually going to tape it off and i'm going to shoot this red again and uh it'll look much better pretty good uh, they're not really quite there yet so I'm gonna be using some APC and this this is a magic eraser um, I'm gonna be using this on the Gucci print itself uh, just because it's white uh, or like a beige-ish color and I kind of really want it to pop and you know these seats are pretty hammered so I feel like this is a good step to do. I'm bringing this up because if you don't know what you're doing and you use one of these melamine foam or magic erasers as they're commonly referred to on leather, uh, you can actually take away some of the colors because at the end of the day, this is an abrasive. This is pretty much like five to 6,000 grit sandpaper. Uh, so you just got to be really careful with it. You can't just be like digging into it. Uh, I am going to skip over the black parts, uh, except on this seat, there's a lot of, of this white overspray. So I'm going to hit that as well. After that, I will take the steamer and I'll blow out all the cracks and crevices uh, because from the scrubbing part, you know, it collects in there. We just want to get it nice and clean. Thank you. 